G'day Ziggy D here with some Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls news. Patch 2.0.6 is live. It went live yesterday and uh, it kind of snuck up. There was uh, some data mine patch notes which I saw very briefly and then like almost immediately was actually live on the game. So uh, there you go. There's patch 2.0.6. Now it has some interesting things in it. Uh, the first one is that legendary set uh, class specific items, so legendary set items for your classes, so I'm talking your Marauders Demon Hunter sets, uh, those guys have had their legendary drop rate increased. Along with the line of uh, previous patches, legendary drop rates just keep going up and up and up. Now, I would, it's been taking me a while to build my Marauders set. I mean, I haven't been playing much over the past couple of weeks because I've been playing some Path of Exile action, but uh, I was playing a fair bit of Diablo 3 uh, from launch onwards, and I was really slowly building the Marauders set. And honestly, I didn't mind. I didn't mind that it was taking t time to build. If I had to put some, you know, some more time in it, and especially after they enacted the change that allows you to gamble for set item, these set items, uh, I knew I was eventually going to get it. However, I've you know I've definitely seen people uh, saying that it's it's way too difficult or it takes way too long to get these set items. I mean, I wasn't feeling it, but I was definitely hearing that from the community. So I think you can't really fault Blizzard for listening to the community. They are definitely listening, and uh, that's the real sense I'm getting on the forums and on Reddit that people are pretty happy overall uh, with how proactive Blizzard has been with listening to people's requests. And this buff seems to be in line with that. I don't know, how do you guys feel about the, in the further increases to legendary drop rates? Especially, if you think about it this way, these set items are your end goal. These are the, these are the final thing you're going to get for these characters, really, is build up these sets. Like, as the Demon Hunter, building up your Marauders set, getting a full Marauders set, is basically your T6 set. That's what you're using to farm Torment 6, make a Sentry Pet build, and farm Torment 6. And I mean, that's that's it. Once you've done that, you can kind of try and get better versions of these things. But that's pretty much it. That's the that's the end game goal for these characters at the moment in Reaper of Souls. Now, once tiered rifts come into the game, once sliders come into the game, that's going to give us a lot more to do. But once you've got that end game set, you know those suppose, supposedly very difficult to obtain sets. Uh, that's you know that's it. So I don't know. I I don't know. Uh, especially after they've already doubled legendary drop rates, whether buffing the actual drop rate of these class specific set items was all that necessary myself. But I am curious to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. We don't know what the actual drop rate increase has been. Have you have you found uh, lots of set items since the patch? I mean, it's only been a day. It's a bit hard to say in that time. But uh, let me know if you guys are finding a lot of them. So, other changes, uh, the monk set items have been buffed. So, these are the monkey king's garb and uh, raiments of a thousand storms have been buffed. Now, the philosophy that they put alongside this, I like that Blizzard's been adding in these philosophy things. Uh, legendary items are just as important to class power as class skills. Like, they're basically what, you know, they, they're going to be the gear that these things are, that these characters are actually using. So, they need to be powerful if the class is going to be powerful. We reckon they Blizzard said we recognize that the monk class sets went out underpowered, and I can definitely agree with that. Monk has qu very quickly become the least popular class because of essentially uh, not having that really powerful end game set. You know, does, they don't have that Marauders, uh, and uh, basically, additionally, the Raymond of the, sorry, 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 the. Uh, so they've been substantially increasing the damage. Now, they said they're substantially increasing the damage, and uh, additionally, the Ray's Raymond of Thousand Storm six-piece bonus has been redesigned slightly to allow the damage to be higher, more controlled, and more deliberate. So basically, they're buffing the damage. And they're not kidding. The Monkey King's uh, four-set bonus, explosion weapon damage, has been increased from 100 to 1600. So 16 times as powerful, and the explosion goes off twice. The delay has been halved, basically. It can go off twice as often. Then Raiment of a Thousand Storms has had its weapon damage increased from 100% to 3,000%. So 30 times damage, and the damage can now crit as well. So that is insane! The uh, change to Raiment of a Thousand Storms, though, is that it can only be triggered by Dashing Strike. Now, I'm not too familiar with the set, but this seems like a pretty powerful buff to the set. So, any Monk players here, let me know what you think about those changes. It sounds like they're going to be pretty sick now, so I think that's a good thing overall. Now, here's, here's the other change. Here's the other change. Crafting. Legendary crafting recipes have had a few changes. Legendary, basically, legendary items now no longer require the legendary unique crafting materials. So, you know, farming 
farming those uh, seven seas tiers of the seven seas whatever's to f make your Captain Crimson set, or farming your Reaper's Fear to f make your Reaper's Wraps. None of these guys are necessary now. Like you don't need these at all. You can just craft legendaries with the base co uh, core crafting materials. So you need your, you know, you need your uh, legendary crafting material, and then you need uh, some some scrap, some white item scraps, and things like that. But otherwise, you're good to go. Some gold, just craft it. You don't actually need to go and hunt these specific mobs. Now, uh, every response I've read to this is overwhelmingly positive. It seems, people seem to love this change, and I guess one reason I can see why is that it's freeing up a whole stash tab in your stash, because yeah, my, one of my stash tabs is completely well and truly full of these crafting uh, materials. Now, uh, to sort of make use of these ones that you've already collected, if you already had a stash tab full and you're like, oh, now they're useless, uh, they actually increase the uh, gold that these guys sell for by a significant amount. So if you do have a big stash of them, you should probably go and sell them to a vendor because uh, they're never going to drop again, they're never going to be used again, and they're actually worth quite a bit of gold, so you're actually going to you know, get a couple million gold potentially. So go ahead and jump in and sell those. I'll be doing that very shortly. So, Death's Breath is now also no longer required for most artisan training costs. Mystic no longer requires Death Breath to change, to train. Basically, they've made simplified the crafting system a whole lot. The other changes, like the Death's Breath changes, I don't consider to be pretty, uh, very significant. But the removal of the unique crafting materials is one I'm a little bit sad about, personally. People uh, seem to be overwhelmingly happy with this. Like, it means not... You know, a lot of these items are mediocre at best, it's true. And it means not having to go and deal with a bunch of RNG to get a mob to spawn, then to actually get the mob to drop the item, to be able to craft an RNG item. Like, many layers of RNG. Sure, fair enough. Uh, but I kind of liked the idea that you had to hunt down these unique items. You had to go through doing these extra things, basically. It added more content to the game in my mind. Basically, like, in addition, to, I, could, I could go farm rifts, I could go farm bounties, or I could go play this like this legendary crafting game where I find these specific mobs to hunt down and kill to get their specific legendary item to craft a specific legendary. I don't know, I thought it was kind of cool. I'm, I'm sad that it's going, to be honest, personally. I don't know, how do you guys feel about it? I'm, I'm a bit sad about its removal, but I can definitely see the quality of life improvements. I'm not having to go for these guys to get these stepping stone legendaries. I mean, it should mean you could actually use them as stepping stone legendaries now. And uh, that, you know, you're freeing up some stash tabs. So basically, Blizzard has given us an extra stash tab. I don't know. How do you guys feel? I'm a little bit sad about that one. And uh, I'm also a bit eh, about the uh, increased drop rate of the class-specific items. But overall, the monk, the monk changes looks really good. And overall, people seem to really like these changes from what I've seen and uh, heard on the forums and all that jazz yet so far. But uh, anyway... Hopefully you guys enjoyed my summary and my thoughts. I'm looking, really looking forward to the Tiered Rifts patch coming up in the future. I'll be playing Diablo 3 sort of casual until uh, until that comes out. I might try and get my Marauders set uh, done and completed for Tiered Rifts to come out and uh, in advance of that. And then I'll be jumping into Tiered Rifts pretty hardcore when they jump out because I'm super psyched for them. I think it's exactly what Diablo needs to become very interesting and also have a nice little uh, competitive uh, meta to it as well. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Ziggy D. And thanks for watching.